sound check test mic 1 2 3 4 5 day to all uh, as continue our reading master planning yung ginawa ko to kasi baka makatulong hopefully makatulong sa pagre-review nyo sa so, mga nabuboard magbasa ng libro oh, makatulong to no? alam tayong ibang gagawin hindi wabasahin lang natin yung kasulat sa code si master plumber yung tinitake tinitake so that is the bible of the master plumber the revised national plumbing code so hindi ko na siya naumpisan sa chapter 1 pa no? babalikan na lang natin yung chapter 3 ako nagumpisa so tutuloy lang natin section 311 to 316 chapter 3 ng revised national plumbing code so before we proceed and please encourage you to Please subscribe to MCGI channel, the best principles of economics, MCGI channel. Please be informed also na yung plumbing code um, is only, hindi naman only, no? 10% ng board exam. No? Pero, sa plumbing code, may mga tanong dun sa part 2 and part 4 na big 40% siya nagaling sa plumbing code. So, talagang dapat masterin yung plumbing code. Okay, tuloy na tayo. Section 311 ng plumbing code, RNPCP. Prohibited fittings and practices. No double hub fittings for lead cock joint in vertical position, single or double T branch single or double top T branch, side inlet quarter bend, tanning trend, band on saddle, shall be used as a drainage fitting, except that the double sanitary top T may be used on vertical lines as a fixture connection. Approve stainless steel bands with neoprene gasket for jointing of hubless cast iron soil pad are acceptable for use. No drainage or bent piping shall be drilled and tapped for making connections there too. No cast iron soil pipes shall be threaded. Ina alam natin po. Ako na sila kasi na. 300. Okay, tuloy natin. No waste connection shall be made to a closet bend or stub of a water closet or similar fixtures. Except as here in after provided in section 812, 813, 8, 8, 814 of this code. No bent pipe shall be used as a soil or waste pipe, nor any soil or waste pipe shall be used as a bent. Also, single drainage and venting system with unbented branch are prohibited. Except as, I, ko na lang, no? as, except as here in after provided in section 812, 813, and 814 of this code, no bent pipe shall be used as a soil or waste pipe, nor shall any soil or waste pipe shall be used as a bent as a bent. Also, Single drainage and venting system with unbented branch are prohibited. No fittings, picture, pipings, picture piping and picture and piping connections, appliance, device, or method of installation, which obstructs or retards the following or of water sewage or air in the excreta and drainage storm and dra storm drainage and venting system in an amount greater than the normal, normal frictional resistance to flow shall be used unless, unless it is indicated as acceptable in this code or approved by the administrative authority as having the desirable and acceptable function and of ultimate benefit to the proper and continuous functioning of the plumbing system. The enlargement of 76 mm closet bend or stub to 102 mm diameter shall not be considered as an obstruction. 
except for necessary use of gate and check valves, where intermembering or mixing of dissimilar metals occurs, the points of connection shall be confined to exposed or accessible, accessible locations. All valves, pipes, and fittings shall be installed in correct relationship to the direction of flow. The drainage system of new building and of new work installed in any existing building shall be separate and independent from that of any other building and when available. Every building shall have independent connection with the private or public sewer. Exception, where one building stands in the rear of another building or on an interior lot and no private sewer line is available, nor can be constructed to the rear building, to the adjoining court, yard, or driveway, the building drain from the front may be extended to the rear building if the existing size is adequate for both buildings and gravity flow is possible. In existing building or premises or plumbing installations are to be altered, repaired, or renovated, divisions from the provisions of this code are permitted provided such divisions are necessary and first approved by the administrative authority. Existing building sewer and building drain may be used in connection with a new building or new plumbing and drainage works only when they are found in examination and tested to conform all respect to the requirements governing new work and the proper administrative authority shall notify the owner to make changes to make necess changes necessary to conform to this code. No building or part thereof shall be erected or placed over any part of the existing drainage system which is constructed of materials other than those approved elsewhere in this code for use under within a building. All openings in sanitary drainage and vent system except these openings to which plumbing fixtures are properly connected or which constitute vent terminals shall be permanently plugged or capped in an approved manner using the appropriate materials required by this code. All fifing under or through walls shall be protected from breakage with embedded metal pipe sleeves. All pipes passing through or under cinders or other corrosive materials shall be protected from external corrosion by encasing the same with polyethylene sheet or N or in other approved manner. Approved provisions shall be made for expansions of hot water pipings void between pipes and sleeves through concrete floors in the ground shall be appropriate sealed with Bitumen. All pipes in connection with the plumbing system shall be installed so that the piping or connections will not be exposed to the undue strains or stresses. The provisions shall be made for pipes expansions and contractions and bending due to structural settlement. No pipe shall be directly embedded in concrete and masonry walls without metal slip. No structural member is seriously weakened or impaired by cutting, notching, or otherwise. The bottom of all pipe trenches deeper than the footing of any adjacent building or structure and parallel to it must be at least 45 degrees therefrom unless permission is granted by the administrative authority. No building sewer or other pipings or part thereof, constructed of materials other than approved for use under or within the building shall be installed under or within 0.6 meter of any building or structure, nor less than 0.3 meter below the fringe ground surface. 
type surfaces subject to undue corrosion, erosion, mechanical damage, shall be protected with approved material and manner, such as inside lining, outside coating, and proper bottom bedding, and top shielding with concrete blocks. Ay, hindi ko na lang sabi yung mga section. Tuloy nyo na lang natin. 315, hangers and support. Sorry po. Ano? Vertical piping attachment. Vertical piping shall be secured at sufficiently close intervals to keep the pipes in alignment and to carry its weight and contents. Stocks shall be supported at their base as follows. Cast for cast iron soil pipe. Bell and spy goat and hubless pipe shall be supported ab at every story or closer. Screwed pipe, iron pipe size shall be supported at not less than every story. Copper tubing shall be supported at each story or maximum intervals of 3 meters on center. Lead pipe shall be supported at intervals not exceeding 1.2 meters at centers with rigid vertical backup. Plastic pipe shall be supported at every 1 meter interval. For horizontal piping supports, horizontal pipe shall be supported at sufficiently close intervals to keep in alignment and prevent sagging. Cast iron pipe, where joints occur suspended cast iron Soil pipe or CISP shall be supported at not more than 1.5 meters interval, except that the pipe exceeding 1.5 meters in length may be supported at not more than 3 meters intervals. Support shall be adequate to maintain alignment and to prevent sagging and shall be placed within 0.45 meter of the hub or joint. Hubless or compression gasket joint must be supported at least every other joint except that when the developed length between supports exceeds 1.2 meter, 1.2 meters at each, at each joint. Okay. Support shall be provided at each horizontal branch connection placed on or immediately adjacent to the coupling. Suspended line shall be suitably braced to prevent horizontal movement. Screwed pipe, IPS except as provided in other section of this code, shall be supported at approximately 3 meters interval for piping, 19 millimeter diameter and smaller, and 3.6 meter intervals for piping 25 millimeter and larger in diameter. Copper tubing shall be supported at approximately 1.8 meters intervals for piping 38 millimeter diameter and smaller and 3.0 meter intervals for piping 51 millimeter and larger in diameter. Lead pipe shall be supported by stiff metal or wooden backing for its entire length with hangers and hangers properly spaced. In ground piping, buried in ground shall be laid on a pyramid bed for its entire length, except with concrete radial support is provided, which is adequate and approved by the administrative authority. Plastic tube shall be supported by stiff metal or metal or wood backing with hangers in its entire length or small size tubing up to 38 millimeter and without backing for space. But with space metal hangers at approved spacing for larger larger size tubing. Materials for hangers and anchors shall be sufficient strength shall be sufficient strength to maintain proportional share with the weight of the pipe and its content. All pipings, mixtures, and equipment shall be adequately anchored or supported to the satisfaction of the Administrative Authority. Section 316, trenching, excavation, and back pin. Okay, 15 pa rin yan. Tunneling and driving may be done in yard, court, or driveway of any building site. 
for the sufficient depth, tunneling may be used between open cut trenches. Tunnel have a clear height of 0.6 meter above the pipe and shall be limited in length to one half the depth of the trench. The maximum length of 2.4 meters. When pipe is driven, the drive pipe shall be at least one pipe size larger than the pipe to be laid. Dami pa na nito, ha? Or kit. Ayan. Tignan mo natin. Tignan mo natin kung tutuloy-tuloy nga. Okay, tuloy-tuloy naman siya. Ikita pa na ako dito. Three sixteen, yeah. <coughs> Open trenches. All excavation required to be made for installation of a building, drainage system, or any further of within the walls of a building shall be open trench work and be and kept open until the piping has been inspected, tested, and accepted. All excavations shall be completely backfilled as soon as possible after inspection. Adequate precautions have been taken to ensure proper compactness of backfill and around pipes without damage to such pipe. Trenches shall be backfilled in thin layers of 0.3 meter above the top of the pipe with clean earth. It shall not contain stones, boulders, cinders, or other materials which can damage and break the pipes or cause corrosive action. Mechanical device or equipment, just as bulldozers, grade, dirt, etc., may be then used to complete the back peeling to grade. The peeling shall be properly compacted. Suitable precautions shall be taken to ensure permanent stability for pipes laid in peel or made in ground. chapter three ng plumbing code. And hopefully, and sunod natin yung Ano pang chapter, no? Kung kailangan, history, depende, wala na. Susunod na lang, babasahin natin yung code na nandyan. And I'll try naman na magawa parehas ng presentation kasi time consuming din yung pag-end code. No? Thank you very much sa inyo. And please subscribe to this channel. Red Price, Joanne's Adventure, ng Barilla and Alexandria Barilla. Yun, uh, hanapin ko lang yung ating pinopromote na pinopromote na training. Hindi ko siya makita yun. So, yan po. Meron po yung FB page yung Bright Bryce. No? Kasi, I have a uh, racket. Racket, sabi na natin. The Primavera Trainings. No? Apprentice Course. Hindi ko lang siya makita eh. Saan ba yun? P6 Apprentice Course. Sa mga gusto mong mag-enroll, no? please don't hesitate to contact me. Sige, buksan ko na lang yung Facebook account. Mabera Apprentice Course. Yan, stop screen tayo. Nakita ko, sorry. Share screen. Ito ba yan? Oh. Hindi pala. 
di yan, doble doble na. Share screen, Facebook dapat. Yan, kung tab. Yan, Primavera Apprentice Course. Yan po, meron po akong FP page, Bryce. Ang panagagawa ng shortcut na, no? mahanap na lang. Bryce, Academy and Consultancy. Bago lang gawa lang po yan. Pero, nasa not so tech channel kasi yung eh, page doon, nandun yung trainings ko nung as early as 2018, no? mga trainings ng Staad, Primavera. Pero ito po, may schedule tayo. Primavera Apprentice Course, Self-Directed, 16 hours Self-Directed Software Training. Schedule is 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. Ito po yung course content niya. Course outline for a minimum of investment pina 3,000. Hindi po kayo magsisisi dyan kasi hindi po yan compressed. Hindi po ako magpapatraining ng tuloy-tuloy uh, kasi alam ko ano yan, hindi Kung tuloy-tuloy maghapon, makaboring na yan. No? So, this is the outline of the course. No? So, nadidigit ko na lang sa slide. And hope, can comment din naman to this channel. No? Sa so, not so tech. Eh, para, recognize ko po kayo. Then, you want to enroll. Pwede naman, mag-message dito sa Bryce Academy and Consultancy. Hindi pa po kasi siya. Meron pa ako isang channel eh. No? Sige po, yung Not So Techie channel. At Not So Techie, nakapromote din yan. Nandun yung ano, dati kong mga training na ginawa. So, thank you very much and have a great day. See you in the next session.